morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the Beta Plan as we return to Queen Oriel, who is, uh, well, about to face another revolt, has another dangerous faction, and if we finally finish all these factions, we're probably gonna go into... Ooh, she's dead. That's unfortunate because that's my friend. But, uh, yeah, then we are going to go probably into the feudal government system because I don't know how he did it. But my brother over here has become feudal in an instant, despite there being no hill forts. So giving in this land back was apparently a very big dummy idea. I didn't realize that would happen. Hmm, but I am going to revoke it then in a later stage. I cannot revoke it though until... Um... 12th September of 1706. And I have a truce with him, so... No. Not for a while. But perhaps he will go into revolt again, I don't know. We'll see. We haven't also vision quest yet, but we can't do that if we're not at peace. Oh, we have gained again a few loyalists. Thank you. Hmm. Yes, Marias. They have such a problem that they're constantly being attacked. Oh, too bad for them. What the heck is this now again? Do you have a revolt of your own, or is that something else? Young Dieter is showing... <gasps> she is shrewd! Awesome, Dieter will become the heir. Young Dieter is showing much pretty cruelty, petty cruelty towards others. She should show more ambition. There we go. Ambitious and shrewd. Dieter is awesome! That is awesome! Um... As she is growing older, I can see that Dieter could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas, diplomacy. This is my chance to make an effort to, for the sake of her education, but what can I offer? Being sociable is the key. And I get Chattermouth, and I get minus an opinion of my vassals. Ouch! But I do think this is good. I mean, everybody already hates me anyway, so... At the moment, uh, we have revolt left and right. I think, I think it is time to already uh, advance archers for Deidre. Deidre is oh, and she turned lesbian. <laughs> that's unfortunate, but all right, that's okay. Uh, that thing is constantly happening because he's probably constantly leaving it again. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but there are enough people here to... Tell the Great Falls to take a hike with their demands. Yeah, we have a lot of things to do here. <laughs> we do have a lot of things to do here. Um, they are going to attack us. I'm going to stand still because if these troops come in, it will be fine. And uh, an invasion, but I can't. I'm really surprised that this one hasn't fallen quickly yet. Oh, my people are getting killed. We can betroth who now? Oh, that's my error. But yeah, that's a normal betrothal, so that's never going to be my error, because that's really a disadvantage. But I don't mind that my daughter is... Uh, well... Gay, after all. Oh, but that's the fact that she's chaste and homosexual is going to get trouble for getting an heir. Crusade for young Kito. Is bone... How great thou art. Holy heck, that is not good. Young Kinto. Where does that lie? Down here. They declared war upon this Washington lady. The Americanist. Well. Catholicism has that as a big, big advantage. I see, I see those in great, great, great other wars. Uh, you can, by the way, uh, you can turn. I'm thinking about 
how expensive is it to get a market vote? 73. Hmm, not sure if we're going to do it in this episode or if we... We'll try and get those market villages off to at least for them to go to Castletown 1. Because that is such a money saver. You can uh, stand down, veterans. Unfortunately, it did not go well. I can go into hiding. I will not go into hiding. Definitely no. Who who wants me dead? And plot. Yes. She wants to uh, probably uh, advance the rights of her husband. And uh, revoke the title because I didn't know you could do... Oh, oh. oh because of the truce will last, of course, a lot longer. Uh, until 2015. Okay, so I won't be able to revoke it at all. Uh, let them just have it then. Stop. I, uh, if that comes up one more time, I'm going to stop that giving that message because that's just going to weird. Weird. Oh! Silver Bow has subjugated the other lands. Or have they inherited it? Clearwater, what happened? Conquered in a war. No, no, no. They have now become the next one. Silver Bow, West Snake, Washington. Because I also assume that Deer Lodge will fall. Indiana Falls is a mountaineer, but he is alone. Absolutely alone. Yeah, you're about to fall as well, buddy boy. Okay. Message. I don't want this to pop up. Actually, I don't even want this to go... What up? Get out of here. Boot it. Get out. I uh, don't want to see that anymore. Alright then. Ooh. Well, it's a, a bit of a shame that my brother will... I didn't even know that could be done, but that's good to know. You learn something new every day. So, how big is the Duchy of Alberta? They has the two counties in it, right? Yeah, and we don't own them, which is a bit of a disadvantage. I had told Ben to stay at home, but just as I finished purchasing my gift to him, I turned around and see him trying to hide from me. The surprise is ruined. I'm not going to lose 50 percent. I will have a serious talk. Ben seems regretful that he disobeyed me. Hopefully it won't happen again. There's hope for this child. Well, I do, don't want him to lose Curious, but yeah. We don't want to lose the prestige. I kind of need to get these two counties later on back. We have just been declared war upon. The Jure War over Rushmore. The Jure War? How can you have it as your? It's part of the Badlands. Oh, because that falls under Dakota. Great. Um. Well. So much for peace. Whoops. But Iowa is attacking on their own, which means they won't have any extra aid. 4,000 men. We may be able to do this. Um, no, I want the Duke to be in the right. High Chief is in the right. And I have gained a Just. And I've known it a Just as immediately. All right, well, that was quick. Just need to do one thing right, and they immediately consider me the Just. Um, well, oh, the, these guys are here is such a pain in the arse. But hopefully they're also hostile to Iowa and we'll just go down south now and we'll kill Iowa troops. Dang, never and now we're suffering attrition, but oh. And then we have a revolt in Washington, so Washington won't help us. They have their own thing to deal with, logically. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Dang, nebbit. Um, What are we gonna do about this? I do not know. Um, War for peace? No. I'm losing, but I won't give up yet. 
Man, you are stubborn. In fact, do you have that as a trait? No, then you're an idiot. Then you're not just stubborn, then you're just an idiot. And you Gave something to your daughter? No, your daughter just inherited this area. Alright. The fact that she's chased is really a darn shame. Chased and a homosexual. Oof, she will have a trouble getting kid and children. And there is Iowa with troops. But they now are also in Iowa. Please knock them over and stop bothering me. Alright. Actually, we have 500 prestige. We could call in a tribal army. Would be awesome. But do we need it? Is the question. I I'm hoping rather to outmaneuver them. Do we still have the highway rubber band over here? No, we don't. I did not know we had gotten rid of that. Well, we did, apparently. I do not need to be... Uh, I am not very good at combat. I have Marshal 4. I have no traits that help with it. Queen Oriole has just uh, fulfilled the ambition to groom an heir. My son has become a Midas touch, despite being a little bit slow. Excellent. And Deidre has become a Grey Eminence. And she became charitable. Holy heck, Deidre is good. I assume people will vote for her in a moment. She is a perfect diplomat. We want a matrilineal marriage for you. Wooten... That was Wooten. I kind of want either your alliance with you. Oh, it would have been attract. That would have not been bad. Now uh, you were a little bit worse. Washington. Do you have any mail available for a line that is worthy of it? The heir to be is Meredith of the Washington Revolt. Okay. Um, but he is already betrothed. That's a bit unfortunate. He is of incest, so that will not be useful. Person? I, that will probably not ma ma marry matrilineal, seeing he's the heir to be. Wooten. You already... Yeah, I know of you. 39. Uh, I don't think that's wise. But we do want a matrilineal marriage. Who are you? Uh, you're also maimed, I just noticed. Let's not do that. A lot of priests. But that would mean she would be going away, and I don't want that. Sutter Prince of Jefferson. Oh! Yeah! I'll take him. Matrilineal. Need to wait five years. Bit long, but it is of a king as well. Let's do him. Because unfortunately, I cannot marry her to another woman. That would be kind of awesome. And just then I know that I would have gotten somewhere children down the line of my family somewhere else, but I don't mind that. Um, he is focusing, unfortunately, on the religion and what have you not, so it's going to be a bit difficult in other ways, but... We'll see. And... Well, she is... Quick. I compensate for my son. Ooh, but that's a lot of prestige hits, so I will not do that. I cannot take prestige hits right now. And you? Oh, of an emperor. Yes, please. Crusader Queens. The very heartlands of Canadian Christianity are under siege by infidels. Desperate Ursuline lords and ladies have pursued Her Holiness, Absence General Josephine, to declare that is it her intention does. I said does. I said does, which is Dutch, but it means does. 
but it needs this needs to be hers. There's a little typo here. Attention of forging a great and righteous alliance to expel the heathen in the name of God. This signals a new era on large scale Earthline Horde Wars. The Crusade. What has happened? Oh! No, but he is Ursuline, that's that's fine. Let's just divide it into two. Under the same family. What has happened that Has High Church conquered something? Well, an, uh, an Anabaptist is over here in Montreal. Is that causing it? I don't know. I have no idea what happened, but... Oh, here's this province. Minnesota has conquered and That has triggered it. Alright. Uh, unfortunately, Iowa is gathering up. Which is a big disadvantage for us. Hmm. Is this all your men? Yes, it is. I wish that that roaming army would do more damage. That roaming army of that former norm, nomad horse lord. I wish you would just surrender. Because that is 3,000 men there that we could use against Iowa. Finally, he surrenders. I accept. Did not contribute a lot, but it is, this is good. And... Do you have money? Yes, you do. No. Ransom. You may ransom yourself. Time to pick an ambition. Uh, let's get rid of Gluttonous. Uh, that's a good idea. And people are not voting for Deidre? Wow. And she has decided to attack Michigan. That's no concern of ours. She's attacking the consumerists. The Corporation of Michigan. Oh, that has happened. I don't think this used to be of the consumerists. No, they're of the rust culture indeed. Okay, then. Heir of the Prophet! I like this shield. I like this! Too bad you can't play that in the beginning. Because I certainly aren't there in the beginning. Where are your holy sides? You have one. Oh, poor Rust Cultists, but they do have Ohio, which is a, has grown into a very big kingdom. And I need to fight Iowa. Not Ohio, but Iowa. And, uh, yeah, we'll call on every freaking alliance person we have. Anyone. As they now have taken over Rushmore, which is why they declared the war for. So, eesh. And, uh, I know I have troops out, but I did want to get those market villages up. And if I don't do that now, I will forget. Oh, we also have the... Uh, and the... Both are important. First, the market villages, however. Because the advantage of doing the market villages first is that we will have a little bit more income. We need to be careful about the truth movement. Because they are about to unite. Hold on. Let's go here, because the other army is up here in the north. Wait, you are supported by whom? Army of Cirrus. You called on an ally? No wonder you have more troops than I thought. And Washington, are you gonna come to my aid? No, well, probably after you've war. The war isn't finished yet. I thought it would be by now. But it hasn't. Oh bloody hell! I I come I have started the battle. Guys, turn around. Come and aid me, you nimrods! Thank you. When will you arrive? The 19th of January. The battle will be over by then. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Well, we didn't take a river crossing penalty, and this is the best way to do it because we have separate armies right now. But like he has two different armies, but this is bad. Oh, no, 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 come on. 
Hold on just a wee bit longer. No, we defeated. And now they will stop probably moving. No, they are attacking. Oh, if only they would have arrived sooner. That is so unfortunate. Well, they are dead at least. Uh, Mary. Yes, good. She comes here. We gain prestige. Um, they are going to still attack because that will be good. Because I think this will be a river crossing for them. Falcon Prairie. Yes. Oh, but they have more people coming in. Ay, 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 ay. Where are all these armies coming from? Oh, we really needed our allies. No, we are losing this. Because and thousand men here are standing doing nothing. Yeah, we always knew that Iowa was going to be a big problem. We haven't been able to develop our country yet. You know what? This is over. <sighs> we lose Rushmore. I can't help it. I can't defend it right now. Another time, another day, we will fight back. But for now, we have lost. Iowa currently is too strong. We need it to weaken. And we are just weakened because we have so many people raiding us. And what have you not? Where you are you don't have lands. Why are you here? I really don't get this. And our ally also wasn't available. We, we we will take Rushmore back at a certain point. Trust me. But for now, they have taken it. I will remember this, Iowa. I will remember this. And why can I not go on a vision quest now? I am at peace. No, I am not at peace because there is still that revolt. You are attacking the Holy War for Driftless. Great. Iowa is doing a very aggressive expansion right now. And the best ones to hold them are I in Minnesota, but I couldn't hold it right now. There we go. Vision quest time. And then we are going to end the episode. Well, we know what it all is about. And if not, well, you have to watch a few episodes back. You are carried by the current of a vast river. You need not steer. The magic of the river guides you. You need not eat. The warmth of the sun sustains you. Your father is silhouetted against the sun, smiling at you. Behind him stands his father, and yet more ancestors beyond him. You turn away from the sun and feel a strong hand on your shoulder. Deep beneath the roots of the mountains, you have lived for eons. Now you emerge from the darkness, squinting and picking through your fingers, and the blinding light praise the sun. Three ravens lead you east to the bank of the great sacred river. Three deer pass through the river valley. With them is a white fawn. A very great sign. So, it ends. What was it about? I communed with the ancestors. I think that was a lot. And otherwise, I, uh, it was a lot of nature things. But I say the sun. Uh, his vision showed you ancestors both distant and reasoned. A fed of fate runs through you. Your father and your grandfather. All the way to the heavens of the old world. Why not say mother? That never... Experience, memories, and skills will help you patiently face the chance ahead of you. Perhaps one day, if Earth Mother wills it, you shall do the same for your ancestors. I mean, I assume you mean you shall do the same for your descendants. Um, I can gain 50 prestige. I can gain one stewardship. Temper, diligent. I will. My life path has been chosen. I gain diligent. Awesome. And with that, we will end the episode. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril. Great beauty.